I have come to the stage where I want to upload my website which I created locally by using MAMP and here you can see the URL for this local site and local host and it's called a uh, port number and this is then the folder I created for this site inside htdocs. Okay so this is the local site and the easiest way I found to get this online is to add a plugin. So we'll go into my plugins area here, add new plugin, and I'm going to use something called the duplicator, which will duplicate your site. So you can either back it up or upload it or download it someplace where you want it. And install now. Activate plugin. So it will zip up your site so you can uh, move it where you want it. So either I can click manage here or under tools you'll see the duplicator area right here. So this is the duplicator area and here you can see the package name, today's date, and then the site name. And to back up this as you see right here it says no packages found to create a new package enter name and click the create button so this is then the create button and these are other different options that you can look at yourself so right now it's going to then zip up my site and it's fairly huge because it contains a lot of different images for my actingportfolio.com website and it will be done in just a moment Okay, so here you can see the package. If I had a bunch of packages here, I can delete them if I want to, just by clicking like so and pressing X. But I want to download this to my downloads folder so I can upload it, or that's the option, one of the options you can do right here. So I can click a package here, I'll just download it, and this will then be downloaded to my downloads folder and I also need an installer file it's install.php so I'll download this as well so both of these are then added to my downloads folder okay so we have install php I'm going to delete this change the name of it okay we have an install so now I need to upload both of these to my domain and actually when you use the duplicator in my acting folder in htdocs here it will create its own folder called VP snapshots well you'll have various snapshots or packages that we created for the site. Okay, upload. I'm using a FTP, FTP program called Forklift. You can use any FTP program you want, but you need to upload these two files then. Install PHP and then the zipped up site. So I'll just add that in here as well. And it will take uh, just a little while. And uh, while that is uploading, I need, I'll just go ahead and create a database because that is something I need to do. So through Bluehost, which is the hosting provider I'm using, I've logged in. So I'm going to scroll down to MySQL databases. So create a new database. So this is the prefix for my account. So database, I'll just call it test. Create database. So below 
in the current databases, you can see right here, it says test. There are no uses attached to the database, so I need to take care of that. So either I can use one of my existing users, or I'll just create a new one. I'll just call it test1, a, b, c, one, two, three, dot. A, b, c, one, two, three, dot. And then create user. And now I need to attach the user, add user to database. So I have the test one, database is then test. All privileges, make changes, and then go back. So we have the blue uh, win1 underscore test database and then a test1 user here. So we'll look at a, a, the a, FTP, it's almost done and there it's in place. So we have installed PHP and then the zipped up website package. So we'll go to my acting portfolio install PHP. Here's the package name. Here is the local site where the package came from. That folder, my acting folder then. Here's the domain. Site title is my acting portfolio. I will delete the package after the install because there's no need to have it then. The zip file can be deleted because it will be uncompressed and name of the database and one thing you need to be sure of that if you have a prefix like I have right here this needs to be included so if your hosting provider adds a prefix like it does for me here in Bluos add it in so database name is then win one for me underscore test user is almost the same but it's test one password a b c one two three dot and I can test the connection and it works so last time I did this I forgot to add the prefix so then I received the error so as I said add in the prefix if you have it if you see it's added in front of your various databases as you see right here for me for my the databases I have okay next step just go through this and see if there's anything that you're missing I read all the warnings and notices and then we'll click install and it should install just fine now because we tested the connection and it comes it comes through fine um, and it takes just a few few minutes so I'll just put on pause and be right back so this is a screen that comes up after the install and here it says final important steps we save permalinks so I can just click take me there I will need to log in so I'll have to look for my password Okay, we're here we have the site. So we'll see if it works out correctly here. I'm just going to copy this, open a new tab, and paste it in. Okay, this looks okay. Uh, I see my banner is not showing up, and it's showing this really long square around this. So I'm going to have to go in and just take care of that. So here it also says delete the installed PHP install data as SQL. So we'll just delete the various files and mentions here. I need to refresh. So 
So install PHP and install data. So these are two files installed in the log and the package I already deleted. So I'm just going to delete these files. Okay. I'm just going to validate all sections and we'll just go right into the website here. So this I need to take care of. So I'm going to go into dashboard and I'm using a theme called basic from themeify.me. So I'm going to look at the banner. Okay, first of all, I see it says localhost here. So I need to add in the myactingportfolio.com and switch localhosts 88. Like so. And I noticed also the fa uh, favorite icon is in the top here, even though it said localhost. So we'll look at the site banner, site logo, and here it also says localhost, and it's not showing up correctly. So I need to go in and adjust that. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll just paste it in, and we'll just see what happens. Save it. And do a refresh here. Okay, so that's not coming up. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to upload it again. Because this is then the, my site banner. So I have right here my acting portfolio header. So it's being uploaded again here. And save all. And I'll just go and refresh the site. And here it is, the banner is in place. Just from a quick go through right now, it looks like the site is coming out as it should. I see also permalinks look good on the top here. Okay, so that is then the duplicator. I have then taken the site from the local where I've developed it and added it to my domain myactingportfolio.com.